For chronic pain sufferer and cancer survivor Patrice Stefrino, therapeutic Reiki is the only treatment in her long list of attempts to rid her severe neck pain caused by arthritis. I got to a point where it was interfering with my everyday activity. It was that bad. It's an ancient Japanese technique for stress reduction and healing. A practitioner works to help energy flow through the body along meridians. It maybe sounds very simple, and it actually is very simple, but when you can remove that energy blockage in the body, the body knows how to heal itself, and it will, and then the pain can be relieved. And I can feel the energy working, like you can feel heat sometimes, or some of the energy moving at times. Diane Haraka practices wellness Reiki and acupressure at Malo Health and Wellness Center in Bergen County. She's often a patient's last resort after they've exhausted all other treatment options. We work hand in hand with the medical community and doctors are now starting to refer patients. We are all here because we don't treat diseases, we don't treat organs, we treat the whole person. So uh, if you treat the mind, you can treat the body. Alternative therapy methods work by putting the body back into balance. They're known to help conditions like chronic pain, TMJ, fibromyalgia, and even migraines. More and more hospitals are bringing in therapists to treat pre- and post-surgical patients. The VA is finding much success for soldiers coming home with varying degrees of mental and physical trauma. For many patients, the alternative is grim. Put me on anti-inflammatory, steroids, muscle relaxants, pain relief, and physical therapy for six weeks, none of which helped. Uh, the next step would have been trigger injections, which I didn't even like the sound of that. The results, while at times inexplicable, are also indisputable. And they usually ask you where your pain level's at. It was a 10. After my first session, I would have to definitely say it was down to a six right away. And now, no pain at all for months. The word is getting out there, and they're seeing results. And although a lot of it cannot be proven, there are dramatic changes in people that do have alternative healing done. State Senator Tony Bucco has jumped into the fray to bring more clarity and awareness to the growing field. Well, that would be the next step. I think insurance companies should be covering some of this uh, therapy. And for critics, of which there are many, Diane and Patrice both say try just one session. It's something you have to feel to believe. In Rutherford, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.